Hello world, Mike with Newfound Pass with this week's What Sold video. This week we have 20 items across two eBay accounts. We have 15 items on the main account and 5 items on the second account. I should call this show the clearance and sale show because I started clearancing and accepting low offers and <laughs> putting on big sales and it all to drive some sales. But uh, yeah, some nickel and dime stuff, but you know, every dollar counts, right? So let's just jump right in. First off, we have this Tommy Bahama studded leather uh, drawer pull set of four, new and open box. Uh, we just gave a few bucks for this. Had it listed for $30.93 plus shipping, and we took a best offer, there we go, of $20 plus $10.50 shipping. So $30.50 all in on that. Next item is a vintage Bennington Vermont Potter's uh, blue heart-shaped dish. This was five inches. wasn't terribly big, but good condition. Only gave like fifty cents for this item. Had it listed for thirty-one dollars and twenty-three cents plus shipping, and took a best offer of twenty-five dollars plus eleven dollars and twenty cents shipping. Some heavy-duty packaging on this one. So a total all-in of thirty-six dollars and twenty cents. Still really nice. Really good sell on that one. This was really neat. Look at the back of this. It is really cool. We had it for a while, but it was, you know, such a cheap buy-in, uh, low cost of goods. It was really neat. Next up, a this is from a coffee set that I parted out. And I parted out because one piece of it was missing, and it was the lid to the craft. The lid to the craft was gone, but otherwise this coffee maker was brand new. So I was like, huh, I wonder if the parts for this thing are selling. So I looked a few up, and I'm like, yep, parting it out. So uh, the first thing to sell was the craft out of it. I gave uh seven dollars and fifty cents for the entire unit brand new in the box and this uh listed the craft the gavalia replacement craft for the ka865 mb machine uh had it listed for 25 dollars uh, plus shipping and took a best offer of 22 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping so it took 10 percent off of this one uh, about 33 dollars all in on that one so already in the money on the profit on the uh entire coffee machine off this one part next up one of the foot joy golf bag totes duffel bag um, got a bunch of these if you saw in the haul video uh, for five dollars a piece i think i got 10 or 12 of them i think 12 of them and uh listed them up and i've been slowly selling them one at a time i have them listed for 62 dollars and 49 cents uh plus shipping and took a best offer of $50 plus $10.85 shipping on this. And that's about been the mark. I think I've sold three of these now. And they've all been about $50 a piece. So that's what people want to pay. But this one all in with, with shipping is a total of $60.85. So still in, a, in really good profit now on the Foot Joy bags. Next up, another Foot Joy half zip golf pullover lined. Uh, this is just basic, no club affiliation on it at all. I uh, was in this one just for $5 or $7.50. Had it listed for $46.19 plus shipping and took a best offer of $36 plus $7.85 shipping. So total for this Foot Joy pullover of $43.85. So you know what people are doing. You know, it's just like we know we, you know, if you do calculated shipping with best offers, people want shipping for free. We know that. So we price accordingly. <laughs> Next up is a set of Milwaukee Power Tools Luminarch Glass Steins, two of them. Both of these in really good condition. You know, we gave our typical glassware prices, not much, 50, 75 cents each for these. We had these listed for 31, 23 plus shipping and took a best offer of $20 plus $13.70 shipping. So a total of $33.70 on the Milwaukee mugs. Next up, a, the uh, two pair of sash shoes. One was a set of like slip-on loafers and one was a, you know, a tie, a lace-up shoe. I got both of these at the same time at Salvation Army. Uh, in okay condition, not great, uh, not worth a whole lot. Um, yeah, I included these in my 50% uh, off sale. Basically, all my used clothing and shoes I put 50% off on, no matter what. Uh, so we were in of these about eight or 10 bucks and took an off, you know, with the 50% off of, and we got $25 plus $12 and 60 cents shipping on these. So still made a good, you know, a little profit and, uh, moved them out of the storage bins. Next up, the Maryland Terrapins 2002 NCAA basketball champion shirt. 
This is brand new with the tags. Uh, this is when they went to the Final Four. They weren't the champions, but in 2000... Oh, no, they were the national champions. My bad. <laughs> the 2002 National Championship shirt from the University of Maryland. Um, had this listed for forty nine forty nine plus shipping. And I had this for a really long time. You can tell by the picture. I only gave like $5 for this. And um, had a best offer of $27.65 plus 735 shipping so i took that for a total of 35 dollars shipped on the uh, maryland t-shirt so still a really good sale next up this adidas climb approved uh, windbreaker jacket half zip it had the uh, bow tie chevy logo on there this is a 3xl i gave it like five dollars for this and i had it listed this is in my half off sale of all my all my used clothes and shoes uh, so i had this uh Listed for forty three seventy three with uh, and it would knocked it down to twenty one eighty seven, and I still had best offers on all this stuff, and I still had people making offers even though this stuff was half off. It kind of drive me crazy. I should have took the best offer off, but you know, lesson learned. So I got a best offer of twenty one dollars. That's right, you heard it. Somebody wanted eighty seven cents off twenty one dollars plus shipping, which I accepted. You know, <laughs> it's just silly, isn't it? But it is what it is. It's gone, gone to a new home. I made some profit, and that's it. Next up, this uh, vintage ashtray, Alabama National Guard, George Wallace ashtray. It's a very clean condition. We gave just a buck or two for this. Had it listed pretty high, almost 50 bucks. Included in the half-off sale of used items. Uh, so somebody bought it for $24.75 plus $11.95 shipping. So all in of about $36 and change on the uh, ashtray. It's a pretty nice sale. Next up, this Mickey Disney clear glass canister with the sealed lid, made in Canada. I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty neat. We only gave a buck or two for it, but it kept dropping the price, kept dropping the price. It's included in our 50% off used item sale. It got down to $12.49. And this is where I'm confused. And I emailed eBay about this. I changed all my listings to calculated shipping. I did it with the bulk listing editor. And I sold two items that popped up free shipping and they don't have an answer for it so basically i had to pay eight bucks shipping on this thing so i didn't make anything on this after fees and everything but it's still out of my bins and everything but i am you know I, uh, ebay for business on twitter didn't have an answer so if you're out there ebay what's up with that changed all my stuff to calculated and you still gave them free shipping i want my eight bucks <laughs> oh boy i won't ever get it Next up, this is a super nice sale. This uh, HP ScanJet 4890 flatbed scanner. Uh, I paid about $10 or $15 for this, which is what I usually pay for new scanners and printers and stuff. And this was brand new in the box. I inspected it. The tape was the original tape. It was factory sealed. And a business bought this. You know, I imagine they're replacing one that they had and they just have to, you know, switch out the old one for this one. That's what how these usually sell. Um, did have this for a long time. Uh, had it listed for $218.73 plus shipping and took a best offer of $120 plus shipping, which is kind of low, but, you know, a still really good profit. Still, you know, 90 ish $95 profit after a cost of goods sold and everything. So uh, still pretty good. And being as slow as it's been, I was ready to make some money, you know. Next up, here's the next one that showed up as free shipping, and I don't know how. And this one almost killed me because these are heavy. These are the Sizzix Shadow Box die set. And these things are super heavy. Luckily, they fit in a regional A box. So shipping still only cost me about eight bucks on these. So, you know, after fees and cost of goods, I made about two bucks on these. <laughs> so where are you at, eBay? Why'd you do the free shipping on this? I have no idea. But they're gone. Next up, another item in the used item sale. Uh, one of the iHomes, we, I don't know how this ended up in our sale. <laughs> I must've missed it because I wouldn't have included it in the sale at this price. But, uh, I think we gave about $7 and 50 cents for this and it sold for $20 plus $11 and 95 cents shipping. So, you know, after our top rated discount on shipping and, uh, all that stuff, I still probably made a profit of you know, eight bucks or so. Not, not much, but, uh, still a profit better than the free shipping over there and not making a profit at all. 
Next up, another piece of the Gavalia coffee maker, this uh, replacement filter assembly straight off the brand new machine. And I had this listed for $20 plus shipping. And I took a best offer of $15 plus $7.85 shipping. So yeah, a little parting out the coffee maker is uh, paying off and making us pretty good money. So next up, we go over to our other account. Here we go. Let me see here. I got to make sure I get accurate prices for you guys. So I'm logging into the other account on my phone. Okay, first up we have this Play Visions US Space Program Viking Mars Lander. And I, let me see, I had it listed for $62.48 with free shipping on purpose. <laughs> not, not a bad thing on eBay. That was on purpose, the free shipping. <laughs> you know what's messing me up here? My phone, I'm trying to say here, logging on my phone and the face ID is messing me up on the phone. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyway, I uh, had this listed for $62.48 and that's what that sold for. That sold just a few days ago. And uh, so it sold for sixty-two forty-eight. The full asking plus shipping. So next up, we have the Corral Coral Corral <laughs> coordinates uh, juice glass set, and we we had these for you know not too terribly long for a few months. Um, paid just a few bucks for those and had those listed for uh, twenty uh, thirty-one dollars and twenty-three cents with uh, free shipping on purpose. And we, let me see here. And that's what they sold for. Full asking, $31.23 uh, with free shipping. So, and these were small glasses. These were seven ounce juice glasses. They didn't weigh that much. It was still over a pound, but uh, still not too bad. Next up, these brass candlesticks. These were in rough shape. We probably shouldn't have bought them to begin with. So I kept on lowering the price and lowering the price. And uh, nothing against the brass candlesticks at all because they do sell if you find them in good condition especially the baldwin brass uh, candlesticks uh, but these were just in rougher shape so um, eventually they were down to 1248 with free shipping and that's what they sold for 1248 with uh, free shipping luckily i was able to roll these in bubble wrap and put them in a padded flat rate and send them on out so shipping was only about seven bucks still probably made about two or three dollars on these next up this polyfill new foam the 15 inch by 17 inch by 2 inch flame retardant foam this stuff is vintage i got this at goodwill for like two or three dollars had it listed for 24.98 with free shipping and that's what it sold for full asking 25 dollars free shipping what i did with shipping on this this was fairly easy fairly straightforward as i put this in a poly bag and sent it it's big but since it goes in a poly bag and it was light, it's foam. It only weighed 11 or 12 ounces, so it's got to go first class shipping. So it wasn't too bad, $5 or so to ship that. So still made a pretty decent profit on that. And last up is the Masters uh, Tournament, Golf Tournament, the American Needle Adjustable Hat. And this is brand new with the tags. I picked this up for, I think I paid about 5 bucks for this actually. I paid up a little bit because it was the Masters. And hats in my area just cost that, you know, they're a little bit ridiculous. But in, you know, brand new condition. And the Masters is coming up, so people are gearing up for that. Had that listed for uh, $35 and that free with free shipping. And that's what it sold for. Full asking of $35 with uh, free shipping. Of course, it uh, went first class shipping, so it was about 4 bucks to ship that. So that's it, guys. That is 20 items that sold across two eBay accounts. I want to thank all of our old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. Thank you a million. Uh, watch out on Friday for my auction preview video. I got a lot of stuff rolling about the auction I'm going to put on. Um, please consider signing up for Patreon uh, as low as a dollar a month. It really helps the channel out. We put a lot of time in it and hope you enjoy the content. And we'd appreciate it if you'd uh, be a patron for us. Um, a benefit for pat uh, for patrons is we do our giveaways. Like right now I have the, uh, the Thor Ragnarok Blu-ray DVD digital combo brand new. That I'm going to give away once we hit 25 patrons. And also a benefit of uh, being a patron is if you're a $5 level and above. Uh, and when we, uh, are, when we start doing our auctions, you can leave absentee bids with, with us. And we will bid for you on the items in the auction. So, uh, yeah, that's just another little perk benefit for being a patron. So, uh, 
thanks you guys and we will see you guys uh on uh friday with their uh, auction preview video yeah be awesome thanks guys bye